So how do we do this? Now this will relate back to the concepts we had looked at when we looked at the frequency domain uh, of an image. That is how do we actually start representing things at the different frequency spectra and of course we played around with things like the pyramid. So to achieve this basically we would have to find in the scale and uh, pyramids of images the most the, the most amount of information in both space and in scale. Space in this case would be the image itself. Scale is again the pyramid levels for example being able to find information at different frequency spectra differently. So one of the more important methods that's actually widely used is as I said SIFT, Scale Invariant Feature Transform. For this process what is suggested is that basically use the pyramid to find the maximum values. Again we use this kind of stuff to do things like edge detection. And in this case, then eliminate the edges and pick only the corners. So run the same process that we've been doing before, except that now find all edges using a different frequencies and then eliminate the edges and pick only the corners. So again, the same concept that we've been doing for corner detection, but except we do it at multiple scales. We find edges at multiple scales. And then we basically kind of say, okay, which one of them are corners at each and every one of the scales? So in essence, what happens now is that basically at each point is compared to its eight neighbors, shown here. So each point is compared to its eight neighbors, and then we can of course also scale it up and down. And in this case, each point is also compared to its nine neighbors above and below in scale. So eight local neighbors at this point, and then above nine points, below nine points. And these are of course different scales, which could be computed using again things like pyramids, and stuff like that we've looked at.